Now, you did have a record deal with Interscope at one point. Indeed. Are you still contract contractually obligated to them? or is Not it? even a little bit. <laughs> now, you've been independent yeah. for quite a while then. Yeah, I've, I've lost track of how long it's been, but yeah. But it's been a while. Uh, yeah. Would you ever sign to a major record label again? Of course. I mean, I'm not opposed to, to signing to a record label just for the sake of, you know, I'm anti-record label. Okay, I mean, you know, just curious. They, they, you know, I think that, that, you know, if it's the right situation, it, it can be a great situation. If not, then it's not. I, I just function. You know, that's the way I function. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. I don't really care how other people look at it. I'd sign back with Interscope if, if it was, you know, if it was structured right, if it made mm. sense. But if it don't make sense, and currently right now, it don't really make sense for me to sign with anybody. But again, if, if and when that occurs, then I got no problem with that. My whole, the, the whole plan is to, to you know, to, to further my, you know, foundation and the, the build for my children. And if that's a, uh, uh, you know, if that's a smart move for me when that time comes, if that time comes, then so be it. I'm with that. Now, reflecting back to your major record contract that you right. had, at one point, was that the right time? Like, obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty. But True that. was that the right situation for you at that time? Do you did you do you feel like you signed a little premature for your career? Or was it the right time? Just a, I don't know. I never really think about that. I think uh, it was a big word. I mean, it's on two letters, but it's the biggest word in the dictionary. <laughs> I think that everything I've been through makes me who I am right now. Sure. If I didn't sign that deal, then Maybe I wouldn't know the things I know. Maybe I wouldn't have discovered, you know, the 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 things I needed for myself mm -hmm. in order to, to function, in order to survive. I can't say how it would have turned out, cause again, it was a big word. But if, of course, using if again, <laughs> if now was then, then I wouldn't have signed that deal. But I see. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't sign that deal. So, what went bad with that deal? Uh, a few things. Uh, Communication, of course, that was one. And I think, again, this is my opinion, the other people involved are welcome to share their part of the story. I'm only one, you know, of course, I can only see from my point, of, my side of the table. But I think that I was in love with music and I was willing to do whatever, you know, whatever I had to do to get it where I needed it to go. But at the same token, I, I want into, I'm still not gonna conform. I'm not gonna be anything that I'm not. Mm -hmm. And that was like the major thing. Like you know, they wanted me to be somebody I would never become. I, I, I just, you know, it just is what it is. I can't do it. I can't pretend to be something. If we for the film a movie, maybe, you know, that's a whole different aspect, but you want me to to give off a impression to people that's not me. If I would have let them have their way. I won't say who they are. Of course, there was more people involved than okay. just you know than just the people you automatically know about. But you know, if I'd have let them have their way, I would be. I'd have uh, a mohawk. They suggested that it be colored. I'd have a uh, uh, you know I'd be with the biker vest and no shirt shit. Oh, Even wow. that shit and that shit's played out now. Well, it's kind of I don't know. It's just you know how that shit go. Mm -hmm. Come in and come out. That kind of shit. Trendy. I wouldn't be who I am. And when you see me, you'd assume I was whatever the fuck that is. And you know, they wanted me to do all the jewelry and shit, the Lamborghinis and shit. Mm. And if I'd have done all that, I wouldn't be able to take care of my kids. Because I spent my money in the wrong places. I wasn't making enough to do all that dumb shit. But it would have looked great for perception. You know, the fans would have thought I was doing exceptionally well. Mm. But in real life, in real time, if I'd have, you know, if I only got seven pennies, I can't spend six of them on anything. I got a, you know, I got a proportion. And, you know, I think that was the greatest thing that, you know, they looked at it like, you know, I don't know, they looked at me more like a rapper and not like a businessman. Of course I wasn't, you know, as, as knowledgeable as I am right now, but I still had it in perspective. I knew anything that was paid for on their behalf had to be recouped. Right. And the only way to recoup is to sell a lot of records and I know the likelihood of me selling a lot of records is very slim you know with all that in perspective I'm, I'm not gonna allow you to spend a million dollars on me so I can owe you six 
Mm. Well, you know, that's, um, you know, that logically that makes no sense to me. So I just couldn't do it. 